Hello, and welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video, I want to share with you a matchmaker file in Excel where you can combine applicants ranking on one side and the hospital ranking on the other side. This is something I saw online and I thought it would be pretty cool to try to do it uh, using Excel and VBA and I was able to do it. So basically um, the way it works so the applicants have uh, their rankings of hospitals and the hospitals have their ranking of applicants and the way it works it goes by the applicants first their uh, first hospital ranking and then it checks basically if the hospital also ranked that person eventually the end result would be that each applicant will get their highest ranking as long as the hospital also ranked them highest <laughs> Meaning, if, if uh, these two people also ranked this hospital high, they will be, get, get, uh, they will be uh, ranked, matched with this hospital. But if this person uh, ranked and also them, so he will be out. So that's how it works. Um, before I jump into this, if you're new to this channel, I'm constantly adding uh, content about Excel and Google Sheets and you are more than welcome to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next piece of content so there are it's a very simple actually file there's three sheets hospital ranking each hospital you have the people um, the applicants that they ranked by order the applicant ranking this is the area you need to update the name of the applicant and their hospital ranking by order and all of the functions here that help us uh, run the code and the matches sheet that shows us the uh, all the matches that were executed and eventually gives you the matches themselves the hospital and the um, applicants that are matched with them okay let's um, look into the uh, the first sheet is very simple There's nothing here just names the applicant ranking apart from the names so there's this formula that checks if a match was found and let's start with this one basically it checks in the matches uh, sheet if this name appears okay if names if names appears it means that there was also already a line that we copied um, here so we, we need to check for the next line that's why it gives us a plus one this means that the next time I'm going to pull the name Jim. I'm going to look for his second uh, choice, which is regional. I'm using offset, offset. If you're not familiar, it's a very useful function. From a reference, you can move X number of rows, Y amount of columns, and you can pull height and width, meaning um, A amount of uh, row and uh, cells to the bottom or to the right. It's very useful to work with ranges this way. So I get the next option, and here I'm checking if there's a match. What does it mean if there's a match? I'm looking over here. Here I'm using text join. Text join is also a very nice function that you can merge a lot of data into one cell. So I'm merging all the um, uh, selection, previous selections into one cell, so I could just search that. So I'm searching for that person's name. If he appears, it means that he has, has been matched. So I don't need to go, go and visit him again in the cycle. And A just means that I don't have any more options. I've already checked university for Steve and that's the only one that he has. So that's why there's no point to continue. Uh, the, all of these are gonna help me in the VBA code. The last column, that's going to check how many names there are here and the number of options, just a parameter that you can use. Uh, it, it could also be a very smart formula, but I just put a number for to give a max for the iterations of the loop. In the matches sheet, this area is being copied from here, the applicant uh, ranking in the code. Then I have a rank, which is basically checking the hospital ranking of that person. And here I'm using offset 
So here in offset, I'm using, it's kind of a complicated formula. Let's break it down. You have the match part. The match is looking for that hospital name here, because I want to see which column to reference. Then I'm using offset that we talked about before. And now I'm going to reference um, this cell. I'm going to look, I'm going to move basically the number of columns as my match. That's why I'm looking for the name of the hospital. Minus one because I'm st started from A1. And I'm just going to give it a height of 999, so it's going to be a very big range. Again, this could be done dynamically, but it's more simple to do it this way. So basically, this part returns, uh, you know, just to show you, this will return basically the column, the column that I've looked at at health. And then I'm going to use the match function again for the name inside that um, um, column that I built dynamically and based on the location I know what the rank is so he's a third on their list so you see one two three okay um, theoretically this should be minus one but it doesn't matter because it's all relative never mind I won't touch it um, Okay, uh, and if I don't find a value, I'm just going to assign a blank so I know that this person is not ranked by this hospital, so he cannot be part of the, um, of, the, uh, of, the, of the matching. The key for matching is to combine, uh, basically, I'm looking for the number, number of times this hospital appears. This is, uh, this is going down, so this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. I'm adding the hospital name and that gives me um, basically a name and a index so I know which one to pull now part of the code is to sort this table every time every iteration by the rank so you always have the that's why you see the, the uh, these are on top okay the last formula over here is the open spots I'm looking just using count if and checking how much open spots that's also going to stop the uh, code from if this is equal to zero then the code will stop and the last part is just um, looking for the name using index match so I'm using match for the row number in this case it's two so it's two or three because if you want more then you could drag it down and I'm matching that against this column that I built column E and then I'm indexing column A and if I don't find anything, I'm just going to assign open so that I know that that position is still open. Okay, so just to show you how it works, let me delete the code so you see that's blank, everything is open. Click on the uh, code, I get this pop-up message, and um, it basically fills out everything. Uh, of course, if you make changes, like if I change, uh, if I change here, I don't know, Put Jamie also here. Maybe it'll make some changes. No, no impact. Um, so if I take Jamie, if I put her or him here. Okay, now you see it made some changes. Now we have two open positions here. So and what you see is actually here in the table you already see the results so Alan we checked his first rank which is health and he was not ranked for health no Alan here then in your university same deal so only on his third ranking which is regional he did have a match um, and this is why he's um, assigned so let's take a look at the code how does this work it's it's pretty simple actually um, so this is the code part. If you're less interested, <laughs> feel free to zone out. Um, so first, I always use the application screen updating false and true in the end. This just speeds up the uh, macro. Declaring the variables, two variables for uh, worksheets that I'm going to use. Uh, WS as worksheet source, WD as worksheet, worksheet destination. You're going to use column and row as long for um, uh, data manipulation uh, and then I'm gonna assign 
what my source and destination is. So sor source is the applicant ranking where you saw all of these and some of the functions. And destination is the matches um, sheet. So column, number, column is number two. Let me um, show you how this actually works. So what the, what the, what's, what's happening is the loop will run from row two through range A9, which is here. And row number two is basically this row. Uh, before we start, I just clear the contents. And this can be changed also to be something dynamic, but usually 999 should be enough for this case. So I'm clearing this. Then I'm, I, got, I got a for loop, all right? That's going to run for as many rows as I need. First thing, I'm, I'm basically copying uh, these values, so the, the rank, the option, and the name over here, okay? So I get basically that. That's the three rows over here. Then I sort the table, the entire table, based on uh, D, okay? Based on rank, ascending with the header. So think of it every time I copy a row, I uh, sort it. So I always have a sorted table. So this always shows me uh, the best selection possible. If G2 over here is 0, then all positions are filled. So I'm going to uh, reverse to true the screen updating and exit the sub. So it's, so it's done. All positions were filled. I don't need to continue looping and looking for uh, solutions. All right, if it's not done, then I'm gonna, I need to move to another uh, position. But I can't just go uh, to the next person because first of all, the next person could be uh, someone that is already matched. So I don't want to check him again or he doesn't have any more options like this one, only has one option. So I have to check. So here I'm using another loop, another for loop. So for, and I'm basically um, uh, going back to column number two and uh, I'm checking if um, this is equal no. So this area, so if it's no, then uh, I know that I uh, need to exit because that's the column that I want to work on. If it's yes or not available, it just means that I don't need to work on this column. So I'm always going to skip it. So just think of it, I'm going through the loops until every time I assign someone, I'm going back and assigning someone and uh, it, 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 it only ends either if this is completed or I just uh, have no more options. Um, and that's it. Then I give this pop-up message, matches found. Simple and easy, but nice and effective. So I hope you enjoyed this content. Um, if you did, please press that like, subscribe, leave a nice comment if you want, and I will see you next time. Take care.